First thing you do is turn the computer on and you wait for the computer to load up. I'm going to edit this. Yeah. Alright, first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to put in your password. So, and then you hit that little arrow right there. And you got to let it load up. That's the first thing you got to do. Okay, the first thing you're going to get to when you get up past your where you log in is you, you're going to get to your main screen. To get to your email Connie, you would go down here in the search box and uh, you would type Yahoo. Now you have the home here and mail is next to it on the mail with your left finger. And then it'll give you a list of mail. Now each one of these things is a list tells you where it came from and then it gives you a subject line tells you what it's about. That's how you would get to your mail. One thing you can do is put a star right here. See that star? It says YouTube. Put it in favorites. Save it. And then the next time you want to get there you can just hit this button here and then you go down there and find the YouTube button and See, and it says how to work Windows 10. And you go back, Windows 10 Beginner's Guide. Now, since you've got a, a laptop, one other thing you could do, one other thing you could do is just simply ask it. It's got a little microphone on your laptop. You'd go down here and you click the little microphone. My, I don't have a microphone on this computer, but you click the little microphone and, and you'd say, Windows 10 Guide. Windows 10 Essential Training. Now, I'm Nick when you uh, started, please be aware want the full screen, significant update to Windows 10 you could uh, August hit that little button right the there. It says full screen and then that'll take you to the full screen update. like that. So before you get ready to you finish messing with this computer you're going to mess it up if you just unplug it or turn it off you're going to have to go down to the little windows thing down there and go to the little on off button here it says power then you're going to have to go to the shutdown and then what that does is that lets it safely turn itself off to where when you go back to it hopefully all the shit that you put in it We'll still be in it.